Hey you guys, this is Grant Evans, your favorite Utah realtor. Today I wanna to talk to those people that are thinking of buying their first luxury property or anything over a million dollars. This is your first time to the channel. Remember to hit that, that like and subscribe button for all things Utah real estate involved. Attached to this video, I also have a guide to buying your first luxury property. Make sure to download that. I put the description. Uh, down in the description below. And I'm always happy to hear from people. I've helped people from Florida, Washington, California. The list kind of goes on and I'm happy to hear back from anybody. My contact info is also in the description below if you have any questions about this video or any other real estate topics. So before we begin, I wanna define luxury. Luxury is kind of dependent on each person. It's the lifestyle, it's the home, it's the amenities within the home. Is it the panoramic views and so on, right? So we need to define what luxury is for you. And I believe it is living a certain lifestyle that is kind of our dream lifestyle. So the first thing we need to talk about with luxury is location. Location is everything. You need to research upscale neighborhoods that provide a lot of amenities and the luxury lifestyle that you are looking for. Think about your daily needs and your long-term plans for your life and your family. If you're new to Utah, you might wanna consider a few cities. Just to name a few that are close to Salt Lake City, you have Draper, Sandy, Holiday, Conwood Heights, and then a little bit maybe south of Salt Lake City, you've got Alpine and Highland, and also Mapleton and Woodland Hills. A really nice neighborhood in Salt Lake City is called The Avenues. Even Rudy Gobert has a home up on the Greater Avenues part. You can also consider places like Park City and Heber that are more well known. If you wanna talk more about location and what fits your, your desired amenities and everything, send me an email or send me a text. I'm happy to talk about it. The second thing we're gonna talk about is the architectural style of the home. You need to do a good amount of research on the type of architectural style that you really prefer and enjoy living in. The most common type of luxury home that you're gonna find in Utah, the style of it is gonna be contemporary, modern, modern farmhouse, colonial, and craftsman. Now let's talk about big names. Builders and architects are really gonna provide a lot of value into a home. If the home was built by a really renowned architect, it's gonna provide more value. And so for you, if you're buying your first luxury property, you need to know who the architect was and their reputation in other homes that they've built. In Utah, the most popular architects are Lloyd Architects, the Jaffa Group, Lima Architecture, and Think Architecture, just to name a few. One really good place to find out who's a good builder and who's a good architect is the parade of homes that we have every year in Utah. It depends on the county that you're in. Utah County, uh, Washington County, and Salt Lake County have really nice ones. And Summit County where Park City is also has a really nice one as well. Now to talk about the features and amenities of the home that you're looking in, you wanna look for a few things. We want high quality appliances and finishes and amenities that really align around your lifestyle. Whether it's a private gym or some sort of spa or sauna that really fits your needs. The Institute of Luxury Home Marketing came out with an article a few months ago talking about the desired things that people are looking for in a luxury property. And some of those things include outdoor living spaces, spa-like bathrooms, fitness facilities, a gourmet kitchen, a home theater, and so on. I can send you this link if you want me to. It has about 13 different things and I think it's just kind of a lot to explain in this video. Now let's talk about financing it. Most people who are looking to buy their first luxury property might need to do a jumbo loan. If you can buy it cash, then that is by all means, go for it. That is the best way to do it. You wanna consider all types of financing if you have to go that route. I have five lenders that I work with, and so we can definitely explore our options and compare rates depending on who has the better service and who has the better options. But if you're looking at a home over a million dollars, there's a good chance you might wanna do a jumbo loan. Guarantee Rate Affinity right now has the best jumbo rates that I can find and they are the preferred lender of Coldwell Banker Realty. And just like any great team, you are going to need a team of experts. Me, as your real estate agent, I am the MVP for your whole process. I'm your project manager. But also don't forget about your financial advisor and your attorney. However, I would advise that before you do buy a home, like just talk to them a little bit, but they will probably discourage you from buying a home because a financial advisor doesn't make money on you buying the home. They make money from you putting money into stocks and ETFs and mutual funds, while an attorney might discourage it because they want to assert their kind of power and influence in your life. And so you wanna make sure that the decisions you make are yours and yours alone and that your team is supportive no matter what your decision is. They just wanna make sure that it is right for you financially but you wanna make sure that it's for your own gain rather than for someone else's gain. For example, I've heard a lot of, of athletes, professional athletes that don't buy real estate for a really long time because they listen to their financial advisor, they're 20 years old, 
and they think oh, I'm gonna make more money in stocks and mutual funds, which could be the case, but real estate is also a really important way to build wealth. Now, when you go look at homes, we wanna make sure that we're following a certain process. The inspections and in, in our due diligence items make sure that we're buying the home very well. This is kind of like buying your first home. If you are buying your first home in general, we wanna make sure that the inspection uh, goes well, you, you and you alone decide if it passes or fails. We can always ask for repairs if we need. Just know that if it is needed to be repaired, things in a luxury home are gonna cost quite a bit more than your average starter home. If you are personally able to attend showings, I would definitely recommend that. But if you're unable, if you're out of the state or out of the country, have a representative come and look at the home for you. Or I can also do a video on the home. I can walk through the property and I can tell you what I think about the property and send it to you through a YouTube link that would be just for you and you alone. Now, when you find that luxury home, we're gonna negotiate it. We're gonna write up an offer. We're gonna send it over to the listing agent and say, look, we wanna buy this home at this price. You know, I would recommend not offering super low ball depending on how long it's been on the market. For a luxury home, you can expect uh, an average home to be on the market in Utah around three to six months, depending on how much it is and where it's at. We wanna make sure everybody is treated fairly during this process, and that we wanna feel like nobody's being taken advantage of either. Once you like the home and everything goes well, that the loan goes okay, the negotiations go okay, you really like the home still, once we go to the title company and sign, we can make sure that everything is, is good for taxes and good for uh, anything else that the county might need. If you are out of the country, we can figure something out. We might need you to come back to the States for a little bit and sign. We can also get a mobile notary out to you. If you are within the States, that would be ideal. And we can get them to sign. They overnight the documents the next day, and then we can officially own the home. Now, when you move into the property, there's a few things to consider. A luxury home could cost a lot of money for utilities and repairs. For example, most of the time, you've probably got a Wolf or a Thermador type appliance and we wanna make sure like if we can get a home warranty on the property that's gonna cover most of these repairs, that's gonna be ideal. But just know that if these things break, it's gonna cost a good amount of money. And then luxury homes, since they are bigger, they're not gonna probably be as energy efficient. And so we wanna make sure that we are smart with our utilities and stay within budget. This can be one of the biggest headaches for luxury homeowners. So we wanna be careful of that when we go look at properties as well. I recommend seeing if the, the homeowner would be willing to let us have any utility bills from the last three to six months so we can get an idea going into it of what our monthly payments with our mortgage, if we do have a mortgage plus our utility bill, what that's gonna look like. And that's it. That's what you pretty much need to buy your first luxury property. If you are buying your first home and if you are a professional athlete and you've received a lot of money from your team, it's a lot like buying your first home. And so we wanna make sure we go through each process very meticulously. If this is not your first home, but your first luxury home, it's gonna be able to treat it a little bit different because you're gonna be more meticulous with your purchase because this isn't just a starter home. This is a potentially forever home for you and we wanna make sure that you are happy with it. Please remember to like and subscribe to this channel, share this video with any friends who might be interested in this, and also download that ultimate guide to buying your first luxury property. I left a link in the description below. Thanks for watching, we'll see you next time.